Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim and today we're doing a walk around video of our 2015 Ford Ranger High Rider XLT in 4x2. Today we're going to go around the outside of the car, have a look at the quality, then sit inside, have a look at the quality interior and some of the features as well. So, first thing that catches my eye in this sunlight is how good this paint is. It's got this really nice metallic flake to it. Like, just look at the way it comes over the wheel arch here. This sun just beaming down on it really brings this paint to life. I would highly recommend maybe putting some protection on that to give it some depth, but you don't want to ruin that paint job. It just looks absolutely fantastic. As we move around the front of the car, you can see with the 2015 model on the XLTs, they have put this nice big chrome grille in the front, which really go along nicely with these nice big headlights with your fog lights down here with a bit of a silver bezel around the outside. You've got really good clear clearance here on the Ford Rangers. They've just designed this car very, very well. Uh, on the, across the front of the bonnet, I think I've found maybe one or two touched up stone chips, but you can't really see them. Uh, it's just a testament to how well this car has been looked after. Moving around now to the uh, driver's side of the car, we will stop at our first premium alloy wheel. This car has got brand new Bridgestone tyres fitted to it, which is fantastic to see, and these are 17 inch alloys with a big bit of tyre on them to really give you that comfort while driving along. You got a nice silver garnish here in the driver's side panel, which acts as a vent into the, uh, into the drive area with the 3.2 badging, which is the size of the motor being the five cylinder variant and you do have your six-speed auto. You've got chrome colored side mirror caps here with the integrated uh, indicator in the side, and that's matched with the uh, chrome across the door handles here, as well as the chrome on our tubular side step down towards the bottom, making getting in and out of this car very, very easy. Looking across the front, the rest of the side of the paintwork, it presents an absolutely fantastic condition. And if I just get my camera person to show you what the roof looks like as well really quickly, I would guarantee that would be in just as fantastic condition. I don't want to hide anything from you guys. In fact, I want to, I want to be picky. I just haven't found anything to be picky about. Moving now down to the uh, tray area. This is fitted with the tray, not the tub. So you do have this nice mesh grating just to protect the rear windshield. You can also tie things down to it. You've got these little latches up here. So you can actually install, uh, install a rear ladder rack into this car. Uh, looks like there has been some toolboxes fitted in the back here. Uh, but being a, a nice uh, alloy tray, very, very practical to use. We'll have a quick look at our second premium alloy wheel. Once again, there's no scuffing on this wheel with a brand new tire. It presents absolutely fantastically. Moving around now to the back, you'll notice that this tray is done by Flexiglass. They specialise in ute trays um, and they are local to us here in Melbourne. So they do do really good jobs. I've actually seen them fitted to a lot of different brands of cars, uh, including our Tritons and stuff like that. And they're very, very good to deal with and make very reliable trays. This car has been fitted with a tow bar as well, really giving that towing um, advantage while having a ute because obviously if you're using a ute for practicality, that ability to tow comes in really, really handy. Moving around now, we'll see how much room we've got down the passenger side of the car. You'll see that the, even the tray actually presents in fantastic condition. At our third wheel, once again, there's no marking on that wheel with a brand new tyre. And we do have our diesel fuel filler cap here on the uh, passenger side. Very handy in case you do run into a spot of trouble on the side of the road. You're actually not filling up on the same side of the road where cars are. Passenger side of the paint actually presents just as well as the driver side of the paint. For a utility vehicle, this is in fantastic condition. Uh, even for stone chips, there's been absolutely minimal marks on here. I have found the lightest of scratches just here. This is the first scratch I've actually found in the whole car. It just looks like a little tree branch. It's just giving it a little bit of a touch on the way through one day. Down here, we do have, once again, a spotless premium alloy wheel with a brand new tyre. So, so far, as far as the outside, I actually can't fault this car, guys, especially for a 2015 Ranger utility. You'd be hard-pressed to find another 2015 utility vehicle that it presents just as well as this one does. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to pop the bonnet. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that five-cylinder, 3.2-litre engine that lurks under here. So lifting up the bonnet and popping the, uh, the arm in there to help prop it up, and you'll see how clean this engine bay is. That battery looks like it's in fantastic condition. The whole engine just presents very, very well. It's a testament to how well this car has been looked after. With this 3.2 litre diesel, you can get around 147 kilowatts of power and 470 newton meters of torque. Behind this, we do have that six speed automatic transmission and an 80 litre fuel tank. With this, 80, with this combination, you can actually average around 8.9 litres per 100 k's or 899 kilometers from a full tank of fuel on average. Paired with electric brakes, this setup with the tow bar can actually tow 3.5 tonnes. This car also has six airbags and a five-star ANCAP safety rating. Looking at the interior of our Ranger, I've noticed this car has done 
just over 56,000 k's at this point in time. Uh, the outside didn't look like that at all. If you had to ask me before I actually looked at the odometer, I probably would have guessed around 20. So just the condition of the outside just presents that well and the interior matches it perfectly. Uh, running through some of the features you can expect in the uh, Ranger. Over here on the right, we do have a full electric window control on the right rest. It's got a little bit of leather here as well as a nice silver garnish uh, across the handle to really liven it up. A couple of very, very minor marks from a ring, ring just here, but I'd barely count those. Like I said, I'm just trying to be picky for, for you. If I move the wheel to the right, I'll show you we do have two keys with this car, and just behind our right control arm, we do have a side mirror adjustment with the buttons folded in our side mirrors, which will help with driving into tight spaces as well, especially if you're going to be using this on construction sites. On our right control arm, we do have our indicators as well as our full headlight control with auto headlights and fog lights as well. Moving the steering wheel now to the left, this is our windscreen wiper control. Very, very handy, standard setup for those of us that drive in Australia regularly. You don't have to change around too much. The steering wheel itself is wrapped in leather. Very, very minor wear that you'd expect to see on a car like this, but it hasn't eaten into the leather. You can just tell that uh, it is a used vehicle, but it's much better than what I'd expect a 2015 utility to be. Right hand side here, we do have our cruise control settings, and on the left, we've got media and Bluetooth. Jumping now into the middle, we do have this nice little screen up the top, which tells us what our media center is doing. It tells you what radio station is to, what song, if you've got your Bluetooth set up, your phone call, your messages, um, and everything like that just pops up on that screen. Moving down from that, we we do have a CD slot across here, just below our volume control and all of our other hard buttons to run our media center from here as well. Nice and easy to reach, really good location and they've got this nice gray color surrounding it all. Dropping down from that, we do have our dual zone climate control, which is really, really handy to have, especially if you've got someone that wants to sit in the passenger seat and doesn't agree with your choice of, te of temperature, you can actually adjust it up and very, very handy. You can see we've got it running right now. It's a bit warm outside. Uh, just it, and I can tell you the air conditioner is pretty quiet in its operation. So moving down from that, we've got a nice little slot here to maybe put some change with our two 12 volt outlets. We've got another little area down here to keep some stuff. And right here is our automatic shifter for our, um, our six speed transmission. So if I pop this all the way back into drive, you can actually throw it across into sport mode to manually shift, which will help with, um, with towing if you are towing a heavier load once you fit electric brakes to this car, which is something I'd highly recommend myself. Just makes the practicality of this car really, really um, come, come into its own. Two cup holders here next to our handbrake. Moving back to our center console, and it is a dual uh, tier center console, so you get a nice little uh, area up here, possibly for change. Lifting that up, and it opens up a really, really deep storage area in the middle. You've got this little vent in here that you can actually open and close, so if you've got your heater or air conditioner running, it pumps cool air in there to help keep any drinks or, or anything you have in the car just really nice and cold, um, and can make those long trips on those hot days just that much more bearable. Now I'm going to get my camera person to pan around the interior of the car, show you the condition of the rest of the vehicle, the seats, roof lining and all that present in absolutely fantastic condition. I'd highly recommend coming down and having a look for yourself. It's time to thank you for watching our walk around video of our 2015 Ford Ranger. Reasons to buy this car is the condition of the paintwork is absolutely fantastic as is the interior. You'd be hard pressed to find another util utility vehicle with the same case in the same condition. Having that tray on the back by Flexiglass is you're supporting an Australian uh, company there by owning that tray and the quality of those trays, like I said, I've seen them on a few different models, is just second to none. Already got a tow bar set up as well. One thing I would recommend is getting electric brakes and maybe protecting this paint job a little bit more. One other thing I'd like to point out for you is this car does still have a little bit of, of uh, new car warranty left just for a couple of years to about 100, 120,000 Ks. But this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. So if you do plan on using this car for work and driving a fair few Ks, this does qualify for our five years extra protection after new car warranty runs out. And on top of that, you do get your 10 years roadside assistance, which is equivalent to RACB's top level of cover. So if you'd like to know more about that, please click on the link in the description below. Otherwise, please give us a call on 9907 and one of our friendly staff will be happy to help you with your inquiry.